What's up, people? It is KR0. And first and foremost, let me just say this, okay? If you are not watching X-Men 97, you need to. I mean, god damn, that last episode, the fifth episode, oh my god, it was peak, okay? It was like, uh, I read in an article earlier today, earlier this morning, that uh, uh, the the lead director who got fired from the show, he <laughs> broke his silence to speak about episode five and episode five, he basically made it so that it was like a nine 11 event. And it feels like a nine 11 event. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Besides that Gambit was like 100% the main guy of this episode okay they really put gambit on like some holy level okay it was just amazing uh but uh, besides x-men 97 there's another thing i want to talk about okay and don't worry i'm gonna lead into it but first i gotta say one thing i love mxr plays okay i love henry and jenny uh genie <laughs> uh, so much they are like one of my favorite things they are their channel is one of my favorite channels to watch like whenever there's a video whenever they release a new video i love watching those videos i feel sad about all the the stress and turmoil tor <laughs> turmoil that they go through um with the, the scam, the recent scam that they had, the fact that they got demonetized on YouTube um, over Jeannie just trying to get her play button uh, for her um, her solo channel. It is crazy. And it, it, it you know, it kind of, you know, it kind of like makes me and I'm pretty sure some other like, um, smaller channels like myself feel a little bit uh you know down in the dumps like how are we ever gonna you know make it as a youtuber well, all that stuff which you know i'm not putting all my cards in the youtube basket obviously because i work and all that stuff um and i'm not putting all my uh cards in the twitch basket either but at the same time henry and jenny they deserve so much better so I, I just want to speak on that, but that whole thing, uh, brings me to my next topic. I was watching actually one of the, I was actually watching one of their, um, videos earlier this morning, you know, well, listening to it mostly kind of glimpsing every once in a while when I was, um, driving to, uh, Kroger to get some cleaning supplies because our, our dogs, me and my roommate's dogs, they completely trashed the house last night while I was asleep. Uh, so now I'm trying to mop up everything <laughs> uh, that they, uh, trying to mop the floors before I get ready for my little uh, day trip today. So, sorry. But one of their videos, they brought up the topic of one of my favorite movies, uh, American Psycho. Uh, starring Christian Bell. Uh, if you have never seen that movie, definitely check it out. It is a great movie. But uh, <laughs> one thing in the video that MXR Plays was doing, like, you know, they do react content, basically. So they're reacting to, to uh, what, r slash uh, hold up, hold up with uh, Zuzu. Suzu, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like almost out of breath. But let me finish this. So they were watching that and it brought up the topic of uh American Psycho and how like the director is a woman and it's funny how oh uh, well a lesbian, okay? And how um most of the people who love that movie are part of people who hates lesbians. Uh, or hates the LGBTQ, which 
Granted, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Like, some of my best friends are gay. Some of my best friends are lesbians. Ex, some of the people that I know, including certain family members, are lesbians or gay or trans or bisexual. I don't really care. Like, you know, I love them just the same as I love my mom, my sister, and anybody. But, uh, that's not the topic I really want to talk about. I want to talk about American Psycho. American Psycho is such a great movie, but I've always, like, I'll look at it in a different way than most people, and I, I've explained this to another acquaintance. I guess, I, 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 I want to call, I would call her a friend, but she, I, I would say she was more an acquaintance, because I only met her for, like, a short time in, like, uh, I want to say 2014, I think. It's it, it's been so long ago. It's been almost a decade. So, um, yeah, it's all, it's been about like ten years since I, I actually talked to this girl. But she also enjoyed the movie as well. And I've never read the original book. However, I have a theory about it. Uh, cause okay, it's called American Psycho, right? Most people immediately, um, um. Combine psychos with serial killers. People who are going to do a whole bunch of shit. Uh, who might. Unalive people. They are. They are. Most people just consider them psychopaths. However I don't think psychopaths. Not all psychopaths end up being. Serial. Serial unalivers. Okay. Or SKs I guess. You know, I got to think about monetization eventually, hopefully at some point. But um, when it comes to American Psycho, like there's a scene in the movie when I, you know, in my first few watch watch throughs of that movie, there's a scene in the movie where, um, or multiple scenes in the movie where uh, Patrick Bateman, the main character played by Christian Bell, uh, Goes and uh, gets this one hooker, uh, this one lady of the night uh, that he had previously had uh, earlier in the movie and supposedly beat and pretty much beat the shit out of her. Uh, he gets her again, and this time he's with suppo- like a friend of his, a supposed friend of his, and at one point, the... The hooker, the lady of the night, I'm sorry, she happens to uh, notice that the, the the friend who they're having, like, you know, as he acts with, uh, she goes silent after moaning for a little bit. She goes silent, and she pulls back the sheets, and all you see is Patrick kind of, like, with blood all over his face just going like, yeah. And trying to kill her, basically. You know, brings a chainsaw, starts chasing her down, all nude and all that stuff. Like, chasing her down uh, a stairwell. And then at one point, he just drops the the active chainsaw down the stairway as she's running down. And pretty much catches her and all that stuff. And then the next scene... The scene afterwards, which is supposed to be the next day, he goes back to that apartment because he's like, okay, I got to clean up my mess. Goes back to the apartment, and it's clean. It's like nobody has ever been there before. Like, there's nobody's and all that stuff, and he starts freaking out. And I always wondered about that whole little thing. Like, did somebody already figure out and, like, clean it up, clean up his mess or something like that? That's what I kept thinking at first. But now, I was, but as I watched the movie more and more, I realized that all the deaths that are going on in that movie is all a figment of Patrick Bateman's head. Okay? Everything that happens is all a figment. Um, Pretty much throughout the movie, like, he's having an issue with a particular, like, he has, like, a work rival, right? Who's supposedly better than him and all that stuff. And (laughs) <laughs> throughout the movie he um at one point in the movie halfway through the movie before he starts this is like his first kill in the movie um 
he and he gets all good with his supposed rival and ends up killing him like act strict to the head okay while he's listening to some Huey Lewis in the news you know he's like I love this this is he's he's explaining the entire album and all that stuff and how he feels about the album and all that stuff he is basically always talking about all this stuff right what he uh how he takes a shower what he uses on his face all that jazz right well my theory is okay first of all in the movie there's like supposedly a character that like everybody kind of like detests and all that stuff and patrick is talking to all these people but in actuality i think who they're speaking about is actually him and uh <laughs> like who they're speaking about is actually him the guy that he supposedly killed the first his first kill of the movie is not dead he already went out of town and this is all that was the beginning of his figment of imagination he could and the reason why he didn't kill his uh assistant at one point who obviously has a thing for him like she she is obviously about ready to like you know give up the goods to him you know, like you could tell throughout the entire movie she's like she's just one step away all he needs to do is just make the move even though he's supposedly has a fiance and his fiance is cheating on him supposedly um he he, he ends up with like a a nail gun to her head and then he like stops himself from actually killing her and that part right there that's the only part where he was like legitimately thinking about killing somebody that was like the real situation that was going on like i don't even think the prostitute was real it was just his mind thinking he did all that stuff uh maybe he did get a prostitute who knows maybe he did get a lady of the night but he didn't beat the shit out of her. That's part of my theory. Like, he is so stressed from his, you know, business job and all that stuff. He's thinking about all this stuff. Like, he's thinking about death and all that stuff. Wanting to kill people. Wanting to, you know, just fall into his, like, base desires of like just wanting to end people's lives and all that stuff and just get that thrill and all that stuff of murdering people. And it's just in his head. That's how I, that's how I look at it. That's how I feel is That's what I feel is going on in this whole entire movie. Now, granted, I'm only like, <laughs> I'm off of what, like four, four or five hours of sleep and all that stuff and i know i have to like head out of town uh around 10 not too far out of town like maybe about an hour and 30 minutes i gotta drive ahead of me but yeah i might make a full video on this whole like theory you know more written down more uh you know <laughs> might use an actual script for it but I just wanted to like kind of bring up that whole little thing and eventually I'll get to it. Either way, if you made it to the end of this video and you also check out my Twitch, um, which hopefully I have in my profile. Um, yeah, I've been gone from Twitch for a while, uh, for about three weeks at this point because of the fact that I've been, you know, work has been off like for instance the job that we had to work at uh for the past two weeks was it was set at a time that like just completely messes with my entire schedule like it like i like to work in early morning like i like my job like the jobs that i have um oops that's my roommate's back well the jobs that i have uh, that we end up doing working at my job, you know, sometimes they could be early morning, late at night, but this particular job was like right in the middle of the afternoon, like two 30. And it just completely messes up my, my schedule. Like I, 
I can't really do much at all. So I just don't want to, I, I don't have the, like, I don't want to sit there and spend like about an hour on a Twitch stream. I want to spend more than an hour on a Twitch stream, like four hours or something like that. So I haven't been able to do that. <laughs> and then like the week before I started that, that the week before we, the week before we started that particular job, I was just going through some, I, I had like gaming, uh, gaming fatigue basically. So next week I will start, uh, streaming again since we're working a late night job next week. Um, so definitely check out my Twitch channel. We're going to get back onto some Final Fantasy seven rebirth. And of course I'm going to post it back up on YouTube later on. So, uh, until next time, I will see you guys later, and you guys have a great day, great week, great month, and great year. All right, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.